Sacramento County says it has officially certified election results declaring Kevin McCarty the winner. Here's what that final count looked like. Assemblyman Kevin McCarty defeating Flo Kofer by nearly 2,000 votes, still a very close race. Kofer just now conceding today, calling the now mayor elect. So, what's next? Your reporter covering Sacramento County, Tori Abadaka, is live at City Hall getting answers for us. Tori. Tony Hunter, those election results certified just within this last hour. Dr. Flo Kofer says that last night she had a phone call with Kevin McCarty congratulating him and also having a conversation about the future of Sacramento. She says, of course, she wishes those election results had been different, but she is proud of how her supporters have come together over these past 20 months for this community. We sat down, though, with outgoing Mayor Daryl Steinberg just ahead of his final city council meeting tonight. It was a fight to the finish line in the Sacramento mayoral race, with Assemblymember Kevin McCarty defeating Dr. Flo Kofer by nearly 2,000 votes. I think people were probably just um, feeling maybe a little impatient because there was no clear winner. Sacramento County spokesperson Ken Kasparis says the ballot counting did not take longer than usual. The race was just a tight one. Voters had choices. It came down to essentially almost a coin flip. Candidate Kevin McCarty declared victory last week. His opponent, Dr. Flo Kofer, pledged to not make any announcement until every last vote was counted. Did Sacramento County end up having a good voter turnout this election? We had a pretty solid voter turnout. Kasparis says it was just above a 75% voter turnout, which is typical. This map shows how Sacramento neighborhoods voted. The gray areas, like in East Sacramento and the pocket, went for McCarty. And the pink areas, including downtown and midtown, went for Kofer. Your biggest job is to build coalitions, to set a vision, and to continue to insist that this city move into the future. That's the advice outgoing Sacramento Mayor Daryl Steinberg has for McCarty. And as for his final days in office, I feel um, some relief. I feel some sense of accomplishment, but mostly I feel gratitude. For nearly 30 years, uh, Steinberg has served in politics, speaking. the past eight as mayor of Sacramento. Um, we made a, a big dent in homelessness, even though it's far from uh, far, far from fixed, a 41% reduction in unsheltered homelessness between 2022 and 2024. Leading during a global pandemic, he says there is some unfinished business, like the big plans he unveiled in his final weeks for the rail yards in Old Sacramento waterfront. I think we're only at the beginning of having an economic development strategy for our neighborhoods in our forgotten commercial corridors. Is this you then closing your chapter on politics? I don't know. Um, you never say never, you know, it's what all the politicians say. I don't know whether there will be another opportunity for me uh, to run statewide, for example. But for now, Steinberg says this is just a break to relax, read, write, play tennis. I'm not interested in retiring and I still have a lot of fire. And once I figure out uh, how to direct that, that fire, um, then I'll jump back into something good. Saying goodbye to his service as mayor with nothing but gratitude and hope for the growing capital city. Still have a lot of fire. That's what Mayor Steinberg had to say about what's coming next for him. Again, his final city council meeting is taking place tonight. You can see the line behind me as people are starting to file in for that right now. McCarty will soon be sworn into office as well. Certainly the end of an era, but you heard writing, reading, a lot of normal things yeah. on that retirement Kicking list. Kicking the feet up, wearing flip-flops, don't worry about things. <laughs> After eight years, he's earned it. All right. Tori, live from City Hall for us. Thanks, Tori.